Right, I don't know whether you'll hear me or not. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'll find out when we get home because I've forgotten the mics. So, uh, just on camera mic. It's a bit breezy out here. We're down the rye. Um, plan is go back up onto the dike this side and down the dike to um, the cast down by where the boat are is down at the far end maybe grab a coffee and uh, then walk back up along the top edge of the dike maybe just continue when we get to the waterfall bit along the top and come back out on the road at the far end of the path I've never done that before so just have to see what's what. I think we'll cut across from here. This wind won't make you feel cold. Made it across the field all right. Across the grass. Uh, and now take a slow stroll along the bottom edge of the dike. Thankfully up here we're actually uh, Fairly shelter from the wind. And it's good to get out after yesterday. Hopefully we should make the 10 mile weekly target. Let's have more days to do it. This will probably be around about the 2 mile mark. A rough guesstimate. Um, 0.6 so far. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look and see what the distance is when we get down to the, the other end of the dike. To make the 10 miles for the week. Including the day I've got to do about just over one and a half mile a day. 1.6 I think it worked out at. Yeah. Yeah, so we're now out of the 
stretch out a bit. This is where we came up on the edge of the dike the other day. So we're carrying on in this direction. the end, as I say, possibly a cup of coffee, sit down, five minutes breather, and then we'll come up and go around that top edge. And that's the rest of the ride. Lots of football pitches at this time of year. Oh, it looks like someone's going to have fun later. <laughs> <laughs> ahead and it is closed so uh, no coffee today Headlines for hire. Ten pound for half hour. Same on the road boats as well. Really can't understand why this place is shut. Just under a mile to here, so that uh, fancy fence is what splits. The, uh, the ride from Wickham Abbey School. That's a bit about the history of the gates. Oh. Started off up in Whitehall. Right, let's crack on. Wickham Abbey School is one of the most expensive girls boarding schools in the country. I think it ranked up about number two or number three for being expensive. And now yeah we're up on up on the top side of the dike. There's actually a cycle path over here. The rest of the the ride is a no bike zone. Um, but that doesn't discourage a lot of people from riding over the other side. Must have not done it myself. Uh, also, Wickham Abbey School was during the Second World War. It was known as pine trees, and it was the American um, 
United States Air Force base for the UK. So USAF uh, liaisons with RF Bomber Command, which was based at the other side of the valley, uh, over at Nap Hill. Uh, Strike Command or something like that now it's called. But that's still there. But the American base is all gone. Well, in fact, it's now got a big housing estate built on it. When they built the hours in the state, they filled in all the underground section or not. I have no idea. But there was a lot of stuff underground up there. That's all in the, going up in the back here. Very really pleasant walk along the top here. I get it, it's very popular with dog walkers around there as well. Cuts up into one of the other local, much older states than the one I was talking about. See one of the fishing uh, spots. A couple of them there. This is good work there. <laughs> keep it up. Bird boxes up in the trees. Uh, try to do stuff for nature conservation. Red kite your stuff over there. Get lots of them around here. Just out the back of the out the back of the Lido now. Right. Packing on. 1.33 miles. So yeah, by the time we get home, it's got to be around about two mile mark. Does along here, well, I need to go up on this section, or whether it goes along at the top of the waterfall and then goes back up right again. But there's only one way to find out.
think I might have to come back and go back up on that section. I don't know, I might be wrong. Don't worry if I do. I no, don't it, it goes up up to the right along here. There's actually a... Oh, let's see if I can point them out. There's actually, a little bridge just down there with some steps that obviously go up onto the path further along. I'm going this way. I never knew there was a, a step down to this side of the, where the waterfall is and where the uh, where the grotto used to be. It's steady up here because it's a little bit yuck underfoot, even though it's a, a tarmac path. I wouldn't want to try and go up them steps. Yeah, there you go, a little bridge across the steps that I pointed out just now. Public bridleway goes up onto the top of Cape Hill, if my memory serves me right. Keep her up the top there. I've been up in years. Uh, quite expensive property, please. Well, that's a very nice little way dub. Quite a nice neck. Ooh. I'm guessing they're wolf race. Very nice. Little old bogey's place. Right. Oh. Ah. Roughly where we started off. Well, just down along there. Filming, so uh, I think I'm going to uh, stop the GoPro running. I'm heading over now. So for 1.68 miles, 
на сало. I'll catch up with all you lot when I get home. Ciao for now. Well, folks, yep, back in the flat. Um, got the GoPro files downloaded to uh, to the PC and that. Uh, actually ran out of battery before I got back but after I'd stopped filming so it was all okay um, got into the bottom of pinions um, took another look at the, uh, the mileage and it was 1.9 something um, and that so I strolled along and went up Rosebury and come back along the top of Spring Gardens and that just about made it to just over the two miles. Um, Stroll was saying too. I think uh, the Garmin itself was saying 2.06 so yeah. Um, and that leaves me quite nicely on target for my 10 miles for this week. I've had a quick look and I've got four points something left to do which works out at about 1.3 miles a day. So um, yeah, I should be well on target for the 10 miles. And that I'm now going to go and make myself a cup of coffee and uh, sort this video out. Catch you later folks. Bye.